to this. Velveteen Dream is making Pete Dunne fight to get his fuel back. Apparently. Climb the ladder and get the canister. Oh, man. He evades the attack. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. Pete Dunne showing British strong style. Yeah, he's riding the wave as he should. Great reflexes. Uh, Pete Dunne can hurt you in so many different ways. Oh, my God. Surfboard leg breaker. He's taking some good hits. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And it's Pete Dunn answering back. Oh, man, what a strike. ladders look questionable. I'm sure they're fine. Uh, I'm skeptical, Corey. Oh, well executed back suplex. Do you think Dream does this kind of thing a lot? What else is there to do out here, Saxton? It's a wasteland. I guess you need to keep yourself entertained, right? You never know. This could be it. Oh, gotta pick it up here. that Dream is making Shane and Pete fight for something that was already Pete's to begin with. Hey, Dunn needs to be more careful if he's going to be out in the wastes like that. Dream's probably the easiest situation he can deal with out there. Hey, he, he could win it here. Going for it all. Interesting timing, to say the least. Oh, right to the side of the face. Shane Thorne is going to have to act fast here to stay in this one. I'm not sure how he's even standing. Shane Thorne is a good choice for this match. With his speed, he should be able to get around Pete Dunne and get the canister quickly. Uh, Pete Dunne is a veteran in that ring, Michael. I'm sure he had the game plan to get the gas down for himself. Back inside the ring. Shane must be under orders from Velveteen Dream to keep that canister from Pete Dunne. Absolutely disgusting. Dream stole that from Pete, now he has to fight to get it back? Things are pretty rough out in the wastelands, I guess. Whoa, no luck against Dunne there. Too quick. It's Pete Dunne answering back. Oh, I think we're going to see it. Here it comes! Oh, down to the next place. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Shane Thorne looks pretty determined to get that can. Dream is probably providing them with incentives or bonuses if they win. Dream has a bonus structure? He can win it here, guys! I don't believe it! Just grab it! Doesn't have full possession. Pete Dunne has the canister! Tough match for Shane, but good for Pete. Here is your winner, the Bruiser Waits, Pete Dunne! Big win over some very tough competition.
One of the United Kingdom's finest, Trent Seven, is here to take the canister from Pete Dunne. I hate to say it, but that's a good choice on Dream's part. Trent can get it done. Amazing, a trampling. Slam. With some attitude, the bruiser weight living up to his reputation. Yeah, but his people are hoping he doesn't lose focus and stamina. Gets out of the way. And fast. Boom, nice. Not looking good, guys. Trent Seven is clearly enjoying himself in there. A member of British strong style. Trent isn't in that ring to be flashy or to showboat. He's going to look to overpower Pete Dunne and make it so that he's so battered and bruised that he can't make his way up the ladder at all. There's more than one way to victory, that's for sure. Ooh-wee! An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Too quick to catch him there. Had it scouted. There it is. like this is tough on the body but combine it with heat and sands of the waist and it has to be just brutal it's brutal on me and i'm going to commentate on the chair what are we doing out here anyway textbook vertical suplex bam Trent has got to be a strategic pick for Dream. Even if Trent doesn't get the can, Dunn is going to have a fight on his hands, and that's going to have effects on his next match. A mountain to climb, would you say? That's not... No, Corey. Wow. Oh, guys, there's the mat slam with some attitude. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Trent's as strong as they come, and he backs that up with near unparalleled talent. No mistake in it, Trent Seven is one of the best young talents out there right now. Pete Dunne will need to be at the top of his game if he's going to bring down that can. Now back to the ring. Getting the ladder set up right in the center of the ring, a picture-perfect location. Look out. He's got it in his hands now. Can't blow it now. Oh, I think we're going to see it. Here it comes. Don takes him up and down with the X-Plex. Pete Dunne is fighting with purpose and determination in there. Truly a seasoned competitor. He also really wants that fuel back. That too. Crowd trying to get a quick victory here. Not a bad strategy. I'd be shocked if this is it, Michael. Ooh, no luck against Dunne there. Too quick. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Pete Dunn just never relents. He's getting after it while he has the energy. Smart move. Oh, Mr. Dunn's opponent is about to meet. Ben! Night, night. Gentlemen, Pete Dunn might have this one all sewn up. Big move from the Bruiser Ray. Let's see that again. Reversed, paying for that mistake.
One tactic that Pete Dunne could use here is his joint locks. Trent can't climb a ladder if he can't step on a ladder or use his wrists. True, but Trent Seven's nothing if not resilient. He'll find a way up that ladder somehow. Look at this. Can he grab it? It's inches away. Smart move here, Cole. Let's see if it pays off. himself right 